Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue looking at chapters from the ICTI GCSE, GCSE course. And in this video, we're looking at storage devices and media, which is chapter three. So what is a storage device and what is the storage medium? So let's have a look at this picture here. So in this picture here, we have the optical uh, disk drive which would be the storage device, which can read and write data to and from a storage medium. And then the storage medium is a physical device that receives and retains electronic data. So in this case, it would be uh, the optical uh, disk. So it looks like this is a CD-ROM. Sometimes the storage device is fixed, okay? And sometimes the storage medium is removable, so from the device. So as you can see in this example, the CD-ROM can be taken out of the device. So what is the purpose of using storage devices and media? So it is used to store data over a long period of time. So if you think back to random access memory, RAM, every time you restart the computer, um, you would lose that data. So RAM is volatile. With uh, backing storage um, is non-volatile, which means data will not be lost if the computer is turned off. And why do we use storage devices and media? Normally to store application software, system software. Uh, it could be files, it could be work-related, could be personal files, such as pictures, videos, uh, maybe games, etc. So here are obviously examples of things that we may want to save onto our storage mediums. Okay, and you've got different types of applications here as well. Right, so let's have a look at the first type of storage um, device. Um, so magnetic storage devices. And the most obvious one that we can think about um, is going to be the fixed internal hard disk drive. So this is a main backing storage device used by computers to store your operating system, system files, applications, and any other files, documents, images, uh, videos, and audio, etc. So in your computer, you'll have either a hard disk drive or a solid state drive, which we'll be coming to later on. So um, the solid state drive, actually, let me show you. Um, here we are. We are going to be looking at this. can also be the primary backing storage device in your computers, most commonly used in laptops since it's more compact in size. But let's have a look at the hard disk drive for now, okay? So the advantage to the hard disk drive um, it's less likely to break as it's fixed inside of your computer. It has high storage um, capacities compared to external drives. So always look to compare against something else. Um, if you want a direct comparison to solid state drives, um, it's cheaper per gigabytes. So the solid, solid state drive may be more expensive to purchase. Uh, this is more cheaper per gigabyte. And the hard disk drive will also last longer than the solid state um, drives. Um, Okay, because um, solid state drives have a limited read and write operation. So over a period of time, these drives may stop working. However, the disadvantage with the um, hard disk drives is it has moving more moving parts. So the solid state drives have no moving parts. You can see here, uh, this has moving parts. So one of these moving parts stops working, then hard disk drive will stop functioning. Um, if you're not shutting down your computer properly, so incorrect shutdown procedures could also cause the hard drive to malfunction. Um, normally when you start up the computer, the hard disk drive has a slower boot up compared to the SSDs and slower read and write speeds as well compared to the SSDs. Okay, so magnetic storage media devices store data in the form of tiny magnetized dots. And these dots are created red and erased using magnetic fields created by very tiny electromagnets. Uh, magnets. Okay, you can also have um, removable magnetic storage devices. So you can have a portable hard drive. This can also be a solid state drive. And again, this device can be connected to a computer using a USB port. And external hard drives can be used to store personal backup data and can be used to transfer files between computers and devices. So the advantage to, to these portable hard drives is uh, you can um, transfer files between computers, so it's portable. You do have a high storage capacity compared to optical disks or maybe USBs as well, USB drives. 
However, disadvantage would be would be more prone to errors than fixed hard drives because every time you're using these removable hard drives, you have to eject it exactly um, according to the procedures. If you just pull out the cable, it could cause damage, okay? And in time, they may not uh, be able to re be read from. Um, also, mag magnetic tape drives, and these are used where companies are required to back up large amounts of data, and they would use mag magnetic tapes. So you can normally store large amounts of data, up to one terabytes per tape cartridge. And magnetic tapes have much longer lifespan and can stand up to heat more. Okay, so this is used if we're backing up huge amounts of data. However, the disadvantage would be you would need um, a special piece of equipment to record and read the data on a tape, and it would be slower to find the data. So obviously you can see here, you've got a storage device and then you've got a storage medium. So these tapes will be inserted into the device and can be used to record and back up large amounts of data. Okay, we also have um, optical drives. Okay, so um, we can have CD-ROMs, DVD-ROMs and Blu-rays and these go up in capacity. So um, I think CD-ROMs are like 700 or 730 megabytes, okay? DVD-ROMs could be up to four gigabytes or so slightly over, and then Blu-rays can be, you know, maybe over 100 gigabytes. So why would you use a Blu-ray? Maybe you have a high-definition movie that you want to watch. Uh, DVDs would be used if you're just watching a movie in a standard format. CD-ROMs would be used, for example, for an audio CD. So. An optical disk drive is a device that reads data from and writes data to CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. So you can see the storage devices here. And data is read by bouncing a laser beam off the surface of the storage medium. So storage medium will be the disks. So optical storage devices st save data as patterns or dots. And let's have a look at CD-ROMs. Um, so CD-ROMs are read-only. So CD-ROMs are normally used to store audio CDs, maybe software applications, device drivers. So if you get a printer, you want to install it so you can function with your computer, you may need to install a software onto your computer so the printer or scanner or external hard drive uh, devices can work. So what's the um, advantage for using a CD-ROM? It holds more data than floppy disks. Obviously nowadays no one's using the floppy disks. It's cheaper than hard drives and USB USBs, uh, compatible with audio systems. However, the disadvantage would be the data transfer rate is slower compared to other storage mediums. So if anyone's tried to burn an audio CD, it does take maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, it's not robust. So obviously if you drop it um, or in time, if it gets scratched or damaged, um, it may not be readable. And that applies for all, all of these discs, actually, the CD-ROM, DVD and Blu-ray. So what are the DVD uh, discs, discs used for? So they're used to store DVD movies, uh, software applications again, obviously when applications are greater in size, then you use DVDs instead and computer games. And the advantage of using a DVD would be it holds more data than CD-ROM, can store larger applications and videos can be of higher resolutions. So again, copying data onto a DVD would take a longer time. The transfer rate is slower compared to other storage medium, like a external hard drive or a USB drive. And you have to buy a separate DVD player as well to be able to run um, any content from a DVD um, disc. And a Blu-ray uses a blue laser instead of a red laser. Blu-rays discs are normally used to store high definition movies, or large software or game applications. And the larger storage capacity is used to store high definition content. Access speeds are greater than other optical mediums. However, the Blu-rays are going to be more expensive compared to the other optical media. And again, a separate player would be required to run a Blu-ray disc. So you can't put this disc here into a CD-ROM, it just wouldn't work. So you may be in a computer system, you'd have to have different discs. Um, this, the disadvantage to these optical drives is in now modern day computers or laptops, especially, you don't have optical drives installed or part of the laptop. 
So you may need to get an external optical drive to be able to run these um, discs. So here are some exam questions. Describe three differences between optical and magnetic back in storage. So optical data is stored using laser, whereas magnetic data is stored using mag magnetic fields. Optical has faster data access speeds. Actually, I think that's a mistake. It should be, uh, I think, a magnetic back in storage has theta, uh, faster data access and transfer speeds. So I'm not sure why I've written that. So it should be magnetic. Um, ma magnetic media tends to store more data than optical media. So the magnetic uh, storage devices tend to have a greater capacity to store more data. So that was a mistake here, guys. Uh, I think it's obviously quicker to store data onto magnetic storage devices compared to optical. So lesson for you guys, um, always go back and read your questions and correct your questions. Um, let me just have a look here, just before we move on to the next part. So another typical exam question would be compare and contrast the use of optical disks and the use of fixed magnetic um, drives to store data. So optical disks such as CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray disks are read from and written to using a laser beam. Magnetic disks are read from and written to using read-write heads. Both have direct access, however, more time would be taken to read, uh, more time would be taken to write to an optical disk compared to a magnetic disk due to slower access and transfer rates. And that's what we would basically discussed here. Um, optical disks are more portable and cheaper to buy. However, they're more prone to damage as they can be easily be scratched or broken. Uh, magnetic disks, however, have a higher capacity to store more information. Optical disks are used to store videos, music, software. In contrast, magnetic disks store installed applications, uh, system, and user files. So if you are answering these types of questions, try and go back and forth, you know, try and explain what the optical disks would be used for, um, and then obviously give examples of how magnetic disks would also be used, so your hard drives, for example. Okay, um, guys, join me in the next video, and what we'll do is we'll start from... Um, solid state drives okay and we'll have a look at some of these um, examples okay so please drop your comments below i hope this was uh, useful and join me in the next video thank you bye bye